Hey, Ray Del Vecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com. Let's jump into a comparison between the two most popular website builders on WordPress, and that's Divi and Elementor. I'm on the Elegant Themes website. They're the company that created Divi. And there's a lot of similarities between these two website builders, but there's also a couple differences. The first is that Divi is exclusively a paid product. And on top of that, it's a WordPress theme, but they also have a plugin that allows you to use Divi with other themes. So if you'd like to try it for free, they have a button right here and that'll take you to a demo website, which I have open in another tab. It gives you this pop-up where you can either go through the tour or just start building. And this shows you how the Divi Builder works. So once you pop into this demo, you have all these different modules that you can edit. They let you edit through drag and drop. So let's say you want to change the padding on this. You can drag and drop it right here, or you can go into any of these modules. And the way that Divi works is they have sections. That's what this blue settings bar up here represents. Then they have rows and then they have content modules. So if you click on the gear icon on any of these, you can edit the content within it as well as the design. So you can go into the text, the heading, sizing, spacing, and you can see right here, this is what we just dragged and dropped, um, 50 pixels. So if you wanted to manually edit this to make sure that you know maybe the top and bottom were equal, left and right, you can go ahead and do that. You can also add in animations. So they take all the CSS that you would need to do manually and turn it into this drag and drop builder. Now, I'm not gonna go through every single option available to you within Divi. I have a full tutorial building a website from scratch, and I also have a little introduction that gets you more familiar with how these sections, rows, and content modules operate. I'll link that up here in the top right, as well as the description below. Now over here, I have Elementor open, and Elementor is a plugin. So it's a free plugin that you can start with immediately. You don't need to buy it. It works with any theme. If you want to upgrade to do full website building, they have a pro option available. So in this next tab here, I have the comparison between Elementor Pro versus free. And like pretty much all premium themes and plugins, the pro version gives you access to better updates, more features, you get premium support. Then when it comes to the design, you have access to more templates and content blocks, custom fonts, motion effects, mouse effects. So those animations that we just saw with Divi, they don't come with the free version of Elementor. And then down here in the marketing section, it looks like they give you a pop-up builder, social button integration, call to action widget. So if you want all of these upgraded content modules, you're gonna need to get the pro version. The other thing here is that Elementor, when I gave it a shot, seemed a little bit limited compared to Divi, and I didn't try the pro version. I'll discuss why a little bit more at the end of this video, but it looks like if you get the pro version that you are able to do full website editing, which includes the header and the footer. You can also apply these Elementor pages to WordPress templates, like the single post template, the archive pages, etc. And then when it comes to themes, like I said, Elementor works with any theme, but they do have a free theme available. Let me see if they have it linked up here. I'm not sure if it's over here, but if I just search for Elementor theme, it should come up. And it's called Hello, I think it's called Hello Elementor. Here it is right here on WordPress.org, the theme repository. It's just a bare bones theme that integrates really well with Elementor. So if you're gonna start from scratch, I'd recommend that this is the one you use. But like I said, it should work with any other theme. And I have a tutorial going through the free version of Elementor. I published that a couple of years ago but it should give you a good introduction to how Elementor works compared to Divi. So I'll link that up here in the top right as well as the description below. You can do a deeper dive on both of these themes by checking out those tutorials. Now let's take a look at the popularity between each of these and I'm on a site called builtwith.com that detects the technology behind all these websites around the web. They show you over here the total number of websites that are using Divi and it's at 2.2 million. So that's a ton of them. and you have to keep in mind, like I said, Divi is paid software. If we bump over to Elementor, they are on 4.5 million websites, and that's not too surprising since they have a free plugin available. So both of them advertise that they're the number one most popular page builder. It's just that Divi advertises that as the theme because they are the most popular theme. Right here, you can see the most popular on the entire internet in the WordPress theme category. If we jump into this, you can see that Divi has 2.2 million. The second most popular one is the Astra theme, which is 1.7 million. And all of these, for the most part, are free themes. Astra 2021, 2017. 
Then you got a couple of paid ones. I think Avada is a paid one on Theme Forest, if I'm not mistaken. And that Hello Elementor theme that we saw before, that's not even on here. So you can tell that Elementor is being used on websites that have a variety of themes, whereas Divi is a standalone theme. If we go over to Elementor, we can check the most popular WordPress plugins on the entire internet. And they come in at number three behind the Yoast plugins and Visual Composer, which I don't know anything about. So I want to end on how to choose between each of these website builders. You might be a little disappointed in my answer, but there is no best one. It all comes down to what you are most comfortable with. Just a quick background, I wasn't using either of these themes. I picked a theme probably back in like 2012 or 2013 that I used on all my personal and client websites. When I started creating WordPress tutorials, I was asking my subscribers. So I pulled my email list and I asked you, what themes are you using? Divi was the most popular one by far. I think something like 10 to 15 people were using it. All the other responses were very varied. I had a few people that were using Elementor, Ocean WP, Beaver Builder was another one, which I've never dug into. So what I decided to do was first create the Elementor tutorial that I have linked up in the description below. I used the free version of Elementor for that, and I knew I wanted to create a Divi tutorial since that was the most popular one after the survey. Once I bought that, I really fell in love with it. This site that you're looking at now is the final product from the Divi tutorial. So if you want to see me build this website, check out that tutorial from the description below. I go through it starting from scratch, and you'll get a really great idea of how Divi works. I then built a second website for a pool spa company, a theme designed around that. And both of these templates are available for download for my Web Design Business Pro members. Those are people that are interested in freelancing. And one thing that I always recommend is that you stick with one theme if you're going to freelance. You don't want to jump between five or ten different themes. Even two to three is too many in my experience. You know, you're, you're not going to become comfortable with a theme if you're jumping back and forth and you spend maybe a few days in one theme and then don't touch it for another month or two. It's so easy to forget how you built something or how to edit something. And with something like Divi, you can really build any type of website, whether it's a local service website, a blog, or an e-commerce website. You have to find out which one works best for you. Spend a little time in each see what seems easier to edit and just more intuitive with how your mind works and it's funny because the theme that i selected back in 2012 they just announced that they're stopping development in 2022 so i have to transition all of my themes over to a newer theme and not surprisingly i'm choosing divi because i bought the lifetime license so the old theme i was using they didn't have a lifetime option available you had to pay annually and i just sent an email out to my subscribers that i paid somewhere around twelve hundred dollars over the course of you know whatever it's been eight to ten years using that theme well the the divi lifetime license i think it's either 200 or 250 dollars it's so worth it to get that lifetime license where you get updates forever and because they're the most popular theme you can be pretty confident that they're going to be around a while you know the other theme that i was using i kind of sensed they were going to stop development on it over the last two to three years because they weren't releasing new features you know, all they were doing was patch and security updates when WordPress versions came out. So go ahead and do your research. Check out the tutorials in the description below. I'll link up the Divi and Elementor websites as well if you want to check them out directly. I am an affiliate for both of these companies, which means that if you do purchase them, I get a little cut of that. That helps support my channel. You know, that's why I can create a, an hour and a half long tutorial going through a full website build with Divi. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in freelancing, you can also download a free giveaway, 15 tools to start your web design business. I'll link that up in the description below along with a bunch of other helpful information. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more WordPress tutorials and web design freelancing videos. If you got any recommendations on what you'd like to see, leave it in the comments below. I really thank you for taking the time to watch this entire video and I hope you join me in the next one.